Hey everybody, remember me? Steven Brooks, Rubber Onion Animation. You probably haven't seen me for about two months and I'll get to that in a second. But man, we got a great video blog today. It's video blog seven and it's gonna be on music. You probably will have noticed by now that I have a different backdrop. Things have been happening in the last two months, obviously, but the major thing is I have moved. I'm in the basement of some family members and I, I got a nice workstation set up here. Most of my stuff is in storage and I'm just using regular earbuds that I got off of a plane for free. So, this ought to be a fun day. So most of the morning I've been getting the things I need from Radio Shack by make, making tests with the microphone and the guitar and how to record them at the same time. Turns out I can't. I'm gonna be unplugging one, I'm gonna be plugging in another, I'm gonna be taking this one out and putting this one back in, I gotta speak to the camera, all this sort of stuff. It's two o'clock already! Let's make some music! Okay, I've calmed down. Uh, I'm set up and I'm ready for work. It's. It's a jerry rig. I'm gonna be the social networking fiend that I am and take a little picture and put that up on my Twitter account. Yep. Tweeting. Uh, you may notice that I'm actually using a different camera now than I usually use. The only issue for me is that I can't see myself this time. But I'm gonna have to get used to that because uh, big things are coming and this camera is gonna play a big part. But you'll have to keep an eye on my, uh, my website for that. We're blowing up here in Rubber Onion Animation. The program that I'm gonna be using today is Sonar from Cakewalk. I opened up a new uh, file here and uh, you'll notice I have two MIDI channels, two audio channels, that's the default. So I've said this before, this isn't an actual tutorial. It's just a video blog to show you how I do the work that I do and maybe give you some tips along the way. So if you don't know how to use the program, that's okay. Uh, there are a lot of tutorials out there. I usually like to set up the metronome. Okay, so I open up my animatic. I just like to get a sense of things. It's got to be a little lower than that, maybe 140. Ooh. Oh my. The original thing that I had in mind was the Hungarian Rhapsody. You know, something like that has a long history of cartoons. Now that's a little too fast for what I was going for. That's probably in the 180 to 200 range. I wanted something a little less, so I went with 140. I know that I want to do something maybe like Russian, Jewish folk, gypsy, minor tones, going to major tones, something kind of fun, something a little offbeat, but something that's still recognizable. That's kind of what I'm going for. Now that you've seen my setup, I'm going to go get the guitars and we're going to start. We're going to start, uh, start recording and doing some work. Here's how it's going to work. I'm going to open up an audio effect. That audio effect is basically an amp for the guitar. I'm gonna look at the animatic and I'm gonna watch it in loop and I'm just gonna start playing the guitar with it. Sometimes I do it with the piano, sometimes I do it with an acoustic. This one I know that I'm gonna use an electric guitar and the reason I'm gonna do that is because I want kind of a crunchy distortion sound. It's hard to articulate in words but I know the feeling that I'm going for and I'm going to try to replicate that feeling on the guitar and uh, see where we go from there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna insert a MIDI track, which is gonna end up being my drums. Then I'm going to insert soft synths, easy drummer. Once it finishes loading, it'll be my drum set. There are gonna be a lot of drummers out there who really hate that I do this. What I do is I open grooves. Listen to these. I'll throw up a little loop here. <laughs> That's it, 
take this and I simply drag it and I drop it in. Drag this out a couple times. That's my drum line. So what I'm looking at here, if I go back. Bam, bam. So uh, I know I'm gonna want something half the measure. So I go to fills. I want something that's gonna hit a bump, 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 you know, something like that. That's the one. And there we go. <clears throat> and that's my fill. I have a neighbor who is playing drums, I think. I think I'm gonna do bass next. I've been a bassist most of my life and I know I can do that. So let's lay down the bass. All I wanna do is I wanna make it simple and I wanna make it driving. That shouldn't take any time at all. So let's see, see what I can come up with. So let's run it over. What do we have now? Basically, I have uh, the rhythm guitar, we have the drums, and now we have the bass line. Right now, I have something that I could use as maybe a temp file or something, but you know what? That's not good enough for me. Not tonight. No, I'm going the full nine. I'm finishing this. So the next thing I'm going to do is come up with a lead line for the guitar. I'm going to take that first couple measures, just jam with that. From that, I'm going to try to get some lines, some things to play with. I find that if I try to sit down and I try to create a lead line for guitar, it always ends up being about the same. My mind goes to a certain style of music, I guess. So I like to just try to improvise and try to let it come out in the moment. And usually I get something very different, something that doesn't sound like anything that I would have ever done. Let's hit it. like I have a really good foundation for the song. I mean, it's pretty much done. I do, however, have piano or keyboard, but piano. I'm probably going to do that tomorrow and I'll just edit it in. Hey, welcome back. Remember this shirt? It's yesterday. I hope you had fun listening to the music as it developed and watching the layers come together. Hopefully you've learned that no matter what else is going on, you can always get your stuff done. You can. Things will get in your way. Things will slow you down. And you just gotta find a way to, to plow through them. Now that we're in the seventh video blog, you can start to see what it takes when you come to something like this and you haven't worked on it for two months. It is so easy to just stop. I go back and I look at it and I don't have the passion for it that I once did. I'll wait another week. I'll, I'll do it next week. I have some other things going on. You just kind of veer off the path. If you start to see yourself doing that, jump back on. Get back into it any way you can. Okay, that's it for me. See you next time. <laughs>